So hey, I've been making some of these wooden boxes here like this. Uh, these, because of the heart shape, are hard to put hinges on. I don't really like hinges anyway, so I'm going to find another solution with magnets because I don't want that to happen either. Keep watching. There, that's better. So I've marked the locations here. I'm just going to try three, see how that goes. I don't want to over, over magnetize it. I found these teensy little magnets. That's actually two of them. So. But they're pretty strong, so I'm going to see how it works with this one, and then I'll go with the rest. I'm just going to eyeball it. But, when it comes to the lid, I want to make sure that point doesn't go through. So I have to be very careful, because it is not... It's, it's going to be really close. On that one, at least. Some of these are a little thicker. But let's see. We're all going to learn together. Let's try that. Aren't you glad I showed you how not to do this? sure I can see where I'm going here. This is a 3 16 drill bit. These are some kind of millimeters. Five? I don't know. But anyway very close to the diameter of that bit. I think that's going to be a press fit. Um, the point, I'm going to have to figure out how to transfer these marks, but the point I think will go through, go through this. I'm going to just start a pilot hole and then use a different drill bit probably. We'll see. Switched to a regular twist bit because it doesn't have as much of a point. Let's see how that works. Don't go too far. I know you couldn't see the drill, but I was just drilling holes. It's okay. So basically I just let it just kind of enter there and Hopefully that's big enough. I'm going to have to patch that. Good grief. Uh, but next time, I will use the tape that worked really well. As you can see, should have thought of that from the very beginning, but I didn't. So what I'll do here is I'll figure out if these... Let's just try it right here. See, I'm pretty sure they will go in there. I want them to, there you go, look at that. I went with super glue instead. Here we go. Little drop. Little dabble, do you? Now when we put the other side in, you have to make sure that the polarity is, is right. So we'll take care of that soon. <coughs> what I did to get the magnets right, I made them stick. 
stick. So one's recessed and one is sticking out. And then, took a marker, just put a mark. So that side I know goes into the wood. And that's what I'll do now. And I'll glue those in. Hopefully they'll line up. Measure twice, cut once. Here you are. So, the black side, of the, the one with the black mark on it, into the wood. going to let that set real well and then I'll give it a shot. Magnets like to grip. So there you go. A little bit of that. The right size drill bit. Hopefully I lined them up. I have to fix that but it'll be fine. I will get it. Um, so here's the result. This is the finished box. Um, it's got a little bit of a grip from the magnets, as you can tell. Um, it kind of holds it on there, but it's, it's better. I like it. Now the thing is, these are small magnets. <clears throat> um, I, I don't think I would like many more in there, because then it just looks like I'm dotting it with magnets. I'm gonna let this go for now. Uh, I'm not going to do the same to this box, but I think this is good, and uh, we'll just—I'll just see. If I had to do four, I'd probably put put them in, in those areas like that. But I think this is good enough for this one. Like I said, it grips a bit, and I just wanted to keep it from just absolutely falling apart. done with this.